All right, hi guys, it's Kelsey Siemens here from strawberryblondemom.com and um, you can't really tell, I'm very early, but I am about 13 weeks pregnant and as you all know, um, if you've been watching my channel and if you follow my blog, that skincare is very, very important to me. Um, when I turned 30, I'm now 32, it, I took it very seriously and um, did a ton of research and it's taken me quite a while to get a routine down that works for me. I have really sensitive skin and I'm very into like anti-aging and aging gracefully and um, now I'm pregnant. So I had to alter my skincare routine just a little bit, but I think it's almost if not as effective as my skincare routine when I am not pregnant. Um, there's a couple changes which I will go over with you guys. Um, but I found safe, natural alternatives to my normal like prescription stuff. So I um, am a big fan of Tretinoy, which is a prescription for acne and anti-aging, and I have a an alternative for that um, and it's also great if you have sensitive skin and you're not pregnant and just want a more natural alternative to a like retinoid or retinol um, and I'm just going to share like a couple of new things I've been doing and also a couple of new finds for like body moisturizing that I am obsessed with right now. So I'm just going to keep things moving and start off. Um, with my morning skincare routine and I will go over that this it's pretty simple in the morning I have two kids about to have three kids so I have to keep it pretty fast but it need for me it needs to work so um, I always water cleanse my skin in the morning I don't use soap I have very dry sensitive skin so I really don't want to like strip my skin if I don't need to unnecessarily um, I've like done a whole process in the morning so I um, just use water in the morning to cleanse my skin and then I use a toner so um, I never use hot water and I don't I, you could use cold water if you can take it, but I use like a lukewarm water just because sometimes I don't want to throw freezing cold water on my face in the morning, but lukewarm works for me. Hot is really drying and you don't want to do that. So um, I just splash my face with lukewarm water and kind of like emulsify, not emulsify because I don't have product, but kind of like get in there. And then I use these um, towels. They're called the Clean Towels XL and it's by Clean Skin Club. Um, I keep them on my bathroom counter just like this and you can use them to dry your face, you can use them as a washcloth, you can use them to dry your hands, like you can keep them in your guest bathroom for your guests to dry their hands on. I love them because it cuts down on my laundry because I only like to use a towel once before I throw it in the, the hamper and wash it because I feel like with your face you don't want the bacteria and you don't want to risk you know, using a towel that you accidentally used on your body or your hands or whatever. So I've been loving these. I got a three pack. Um, you can subscribe so they'll mail them to you every few months or however long you choose. And they're not very expensive. They're also very soft and 100% biodegradable. So it's not creating extra trash or waste or anything. They're, you know, biodegradable. So that means that they basically just like disintegrate back into the atmosphere. Like they were never here. So um, they're pretty thick and nice quality. They're textured on one side and not on the other side. Um, and like I said, you can use them for a washcloth. So if you use a washcloth to wash, wash your face at night, you could cut down on laundry and bacteria and all that too. So I've been loving these. This is new to my skincare routine. Um, then in the morning after I water cleanse my skin and use my Clean Skin Club towel, this, I actually got a different container on Amazon for my toner, but it's the Glow Recipe um, the, like Dewy Skin Toner, and it's really great. These little containers are great because you just stick your cotton swab on top, pump down, and then you have the perfect amount of product on your cotton swab. And I'll link these cotton swabs because they're really great there by Swispers. Um, the size is really nice because they're bigger than your normal like cotton ball and they're exfoliating so on one side it has like a textured side and then it's soft on the other side so they can exfoliate your skin um, when you do toner. 
This Glow Recipe Toner is really great. Um, it gives me kind of like a clean skin feeling without making anything tight or dry. It has watermelon in it. It smells good. It's natural and it cuts down on redness and it's um, a pore tightener. So it really does kind of like tighten the pores on your face and make everything look clean and fresh and good. I'm loving it. And it's pregnancy safe. Um, so this is the most bougie step in my skincare routine. Um, I hate to say it because it's so pricey, but it's worth every penny. Um, I have been using this. I just use it the tiniest bit because I hate having to repurchase it. Um, but I use this every morning, just a couple drops. It's the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic Combination Antioxidant Containing Serum. Um, this helps with any uneven skin tone or any like dark spots you may have, acne scars. Um, it helps give you that like glowy glass skin look. It's really, really good stuff. I know. I hate to say it. Um, and I will probably forever repurchase it unless I cannot afford it. Everyone talks about this stuff and for this product, there's good reason. It's really, really good. Um, it's basically transformed the texture and like the overall, I don't know, like glowiness of my skin. Um, and if you can't afford the SkinCeuticals one, I highly recommend, um, you know, doing your research and um, finding an alternative of vitamin C for your face is a really, really good ingredient to have. It protects your skin from the environment and it is anti-aging um, and it's pregnancy safe. So if you have to, you know, take out some of your retinols and you still want, you know, results, not just maintenance, this is a good product to keep in your skincare. Um, next is my tried and true. I talk about this all the time. It's the best sunscreen out there in my opinion. I use it on my kids. I use it on my husband. I love this stuff. I've probably bought this 15 times. I use it every single day, rain or shine. I don't care if it's snowing. You need to put your sunscreen on. This is the best anti-aging product you could use. If you only use one skincare product every day, let it be sunscreen. Um, I love this sunscreen for so many different reasons and I could talk about it for a long time, but it goes on clear. It's super lightweight. It really feels like the most, you know, luxurious um, moisturizer. There's no smell to it. It doesn't have that icky sunscreen smell. It's super soft and smooth on your skin. Um, you could, I don't use a moisturizer in the morning just because this is just as good or better than any moisturizer I've tried. And it's just an added bonus that it has SPF 46 in it. Um, they have tinted versions, which I have not tried, but I've heard they're really good. So if you're into tinted sunscreen and that's what you wear as your makeup, I would recommend giving it a try. Um, and it has really great ingredients in it. So it, it says it calms and protects acne prone skin, but it also protect or calms like rosacea or any redness you may have. Um, it has niacinamide, which is a redness reducer. And if you put niacinamide, like a serum on one side of your face, you can see that it just like instantly takes redness out. Um, it's a really great ingredient. My skin loves it. And I, I tend to be pretty pink or red. And I notice a drastic difference when I use niacinamide on my skin. Um, and then it has transparent zinc oxide. So when you're looking for a sunscreen, zinc oxide is a really great ingredient to um, find in your sunscreen because it um, really protects from the sun. It really works. And this is a mineral, not chemical sunscreen, which is what I always recommend you look for in your sunscreen products just because it's better for you. It's better for the planet. It's better for your skin. It's just all around better. Um, it also says skin types prone to acne, rosacea, and hyperpigmentation. So if you have any, you know, discoloration or redness or irritation or sensitive skin, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. I recommended this to so many of my friends and they've all come back to me and said, I love this stuff. I hear from my followers. This is like, this is like my holy grail. I love it. Um, so this is my last step in my AM skin care routine. And that is my Evan Healy Wild Carrot Nourishing Eye Balm Stick. I swear by this. Um, you can use it in the morning before makeup, which is how I use it. But you can also use it um, 
like halfway through the day. If your under eyes are feeling dry, you can put it on over your makeup. Sometimes if I have dry eyelids, I just, you know, swipe it all around my eyes and it's like cleared up in the morning. Um, I get really dry eyes, especially like in allergy season. I've noticed too that this is a lot easier for me to put on than eye cream. So I'm more likely to do it just because it's like boom, boom, two swipes and I'm done. It goes on clear. It's not like brightening or anything like that. But I have noticed that my dark circles have drastically decreased since I've started using this. And I've also seen a lot less um, crow's feet on the side. So I have pictures from like two, two and a half years ago where I'm smiling and all I see is the crow's feet around my eyes. And then I look now and I see that I've, um, since I've been using this and they're pretty much gone. So, um, I love this stuff. And also, if you wear concealer under your eyes, this is really great um, to make your makeup go on smooth. So I put it on and wait a few minutes and then put my eye brightener or under eye concealer on and I have noticed that it's like less settled in my fine lines. So this is just really great. Um, I already have my backup. <laughs> I have two. Okay, so that's my AM skincare. So after I do all that, I'll either, you know, go about my day or I'll put some makeup on. Um, some days I don't wear makeup, but either way, I do all of the steps. And then I go about my whole day. And then my first step I do at night is I double cleanse. And I have noticed a huge difference with my breakout since I've started double cleansing. Somebody I follow on Instagram, I think it's Jen Reed, talked about double cleansing and how it's improved her skin. So I listened to her, I did it, and ever I have not looked back since I rain or shine. I don't care how tired I am. I double cleanse every night. It's just really easy to do and it's so, if I don't do it, I'll notice I have a pimple the next day. Um, especially if I wear makeup, I feel like I have to double cleanse. If you've ever washed your face really, really well and like done makeup remover or done a makeup wipe and then you take a cotton swab and do toner, there's almost always going to be makeup or dirt or something left over on that cotton swab. It's really, you know, actually gross how much your stuff is still on your face after you just cleanse that first time. So I start with an oil cleanser and I don't put water or anything on my face. I just do two pumps into my hand and just kind of warm, warm it up and emulsify and rub it all over my face. I take my eye makeup off with it. If I'm really dry, like if it's winter and my skin on my body is really dry, I keep this in my shower and I use it on my body instead of soap. And this stuff is great. There's really no smell. Um, it's safe for like face body. It's safe for babies. If my skins, if my kids have eczema, I have no problem using this on them. Um, I bought the big bottle for during Prime Day and I would repurchase this in a second. It's not super expensive and it's worth every penny. Um, it's by Bioderma. It's called Atoderm and it's just a cleansing oil. It's so great. Um, and this breaks down any oil you have on your skin. So if you have blackheads or oily skin, this is going to really, really help with that. Um, and then I don't have it up here, but I use the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. Um, it's like really inexpensive and it's a cult favorite for a reason. It's just a very hydrating, simple um, cleanser for your face. And I basically rinse the oil cleanser off of my face, take a little bit of the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, wash my face again, and then I um, rinse. And this is all, by the way, pregnancy safe. Okay, so after my face is clean and washed, I take one of my clean skin club uh, towels, dry my face, make sure my face is completely dry, and then um, this is where I changed things up when I found out I was pregnant. So I used to use a prescription called Tretinoin, and that was from my dermatologist, and so I was really sad to have to give that up when I was pregnant because it worked so well. It literally took years off my face. It's clinically proven to um, get rid of acne, which I didn't really need it for, but it did help with fine lines. Um, it basically increases collagen and you know gets rid of that, like it basically gets rid of the top layer of your skin. Um, 
And so I, I definitely recommend doing it if you're not pregnant and you have the patience because it's not overnight results. You have to kind of be really patient. It's very drying and irritating. So you literally take like less than a pea size amount, use it all over your face. And then I would wait like a week before I reapply to see how my face would react to it. You have to be religious about wearing sunscreen because if you use uh, tretinoin and go in the sun, you could get a horrible sunburn um, and it could just cause more damage. So you have to, you have to wear sunscreen if you use it. Um, it's not even a negotiable, like you have to. Um, so I saw really great results. My skin was glowy. It was dewy. I got rid of a lot of, you know, fine lines. My pores were smaller. If you have like sebaceous filaments or a lot of blackheads, it dries all that out and basically just like you basically have baby skin. You should Google before and after photos because it's really a really a great product. Um, you just have to be super careful. I would start with the absolute lowest prescription you can get, and I would do the like the least amount possible um, because it's so easy to freak your skin out and it's so easy to, you know, irritate your skin. So sunscreen smaller salt smaller amount than you think and less frequent than you think and then you can kind of work your way up even the smallest prescription and the smallest amount is still effective and you're still going to see results so if you're willing to you know put in the work i highly recommend it but if you're pregnant or nursing it's not recommended that you do those things some people still do but i'm just it's not worth it to me to um take that risk so i Googled the heck out of retinol alternatives and what I came up with was the number one choice was this herbivore, I'm going to butcher this, but it's called Bakuchil and it's derived from mushrooms, like wild mushrooms or something, I think it's all natural. Um, it's called a retinol alternative smoothing serum. It's by herbivore um, and I love that brand, I trust their process, I trust their ingredients, I have seen great results from other products from them before. Um, so this is going to give you all of the benefits that retinol does. Granted, um, I don't think you're going to get the same level of results, but it is, you know, going to kind of like resurface your skin and reverse any like fine lines and anything like that. Um, it comes out a really strange texture. It's almost gooey, slimy, like a snail slime. Um, it goes on clear. It's it's not irritating at all. It's not drying. It's almost just like a very mild serum. It almost feels more like a moisturizer than like a stripping, you know, treatment or something like that. So I've been using it every night. I've heard that this has completely transformed people's skin. Um, I've only really been using this 10 weeks. So I feel like even if it doesn't improve my skin, if I can just keep things from not getting worse from you know, getting off the retinol and then just resume the retinol when I am done breastfeeding and all that in like a year or two or whatever, then that'll be good enough for me. Um, I'm basically just trying to preserve. So I will report back in a month or so and let you guys know, you know, how I'm liking it. But so far, so good. It hasn't done anything bad to my skin. I feel like I'm kind of keeping things, you know, status quo and okay. So it has it like five... 10,000 five-star reviews are like a month-long waiting list or whatever. So I've heard great things. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited that I'm not just going to completely have to give up my retinol. Um, I've used about this much, so I'm liking it. Um, there's no smell or anything like that. Okay, so next I'm going to go into my moisturizing. So I've done cleanser and treatment. And you can add in, like, if you have... Um, acne or any con like skin concerns like hyperpigmentation or you know I don't know roughness or you know blackheads or whatever I highly recommend doing like a glycolic acid toner which I sometimes do um, maybe like every few nights actually I'll show you what I've been using you can work your way up so like 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%. I'm using 15% right now. Um, I could probably go up to 20%, but I don't see any need to at this point. Um, and if I ever have like a random breakout or hormonal acne or um, just need like a little bit of a boost, I use these. Um, but sometimes I'm, 
I don't know why, this is like the hardest part for me to remember. Um, and then moisturizer. So I go in with my Clarins Double Serum. I This is like my third time repurchasing this. My mom also swears by this. It's really, really luxurious and nice and it's the other only pricey part besides the skin SkinCeuticals. Um, so there's other mo moisturizers that will do a really great job. I just love the ingredients in this. There's um, turmeric and it's just really, really hydrating and it smells amazing and I notice a really big difference with my skin when using it. Um, with the moisturization factor. So I love that it's anti-aging and pregnancy safe. So five stars for this. I will repurchase it probably forever until they discontinue it, which I hope is never. Um, so that's like my serum, my kind of like powerful ingredient moisturizer that I love for my skin. And then I go in and seal everything together with the CeraVe Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Um, this texture of this is thicker and I always say to go from thinnest to thickest when you're doing moisturizers on your skin so any oils or serums are first and then any lotions or you know moisturizers second and then if you have any heavy creams or like balms then that's gonna seal everything in so I wait for this to dry I want to really benefit from the ingredients in this because they're really good ones in it. Um, so I let that kind of do its job and dry a little bit. And then in a few minutes, I'll come back and I'll add a layer of the CeraVe Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So hyaluronic acid is a really great ingredient for your skin because it plumps and it really gets into any fine lines and moisturizes that first layer of your skin. Um, and it really does work. So this one, I've tried a lot of hyaluronic acid serums. I love that this one's more like a moisturizer lotion. Um, I love most CeraVe products. I feel like for their price, they work really, really well. I think this would work just as well as any drugstore moisturizer. I would buy this again and again. I love this stuff. Um, it also has niacinamide and ceramides, which I think are really good for your skin's moisture barrier so if you're on the dry side this is going to really benefit your skin um i really love this stuff it's called a gel cream formula but i think it definitely feels more like a cream and then last but not least that's usually my last step but if i'm feeling very dry or if i have eczema um, on my body um, there's something that I just ran out of that I need to repurchase and it's by La Roche Posay. I'm probably saying that wrong and it's called the Cicaplast Balm E5 or something like that and I'll link it but it's a very very thick kind of like balm cream and sometimes I put it all over my face like a thin layer and I feel like it really um, seals in all of my skincare. It's called slugging or if I have eczema dry patches on my elbows or on my arms or neck or anywhere i put that on there and they're pretty much gone overnight i do not hesitate when using it on my children either so i definitely um would consider it pregnancy safe and it's just like a really good product um so last but not least this is new to me but not a new product i don't think my, i don't i've never seen it before but i saw amber lancaster talk about it on instagram so i immediately picked it up and I love Aquaphor, but this is actually an advanced therapy ointment body spray. And she described this as the fountain of youth, and I tend to agree. This stuff is awesome. Um, so it goes on and it feels like Aquaphor, but it sprays on in a really fine mist. Um, be careful where you spray it, though. You're not going to want to spray it over any carpet or like... I sprayed it on tile and I fell because it made my floor really slippery with my shoes. So maybe do it in the shower before you get out or um, I don't even know. I would do it in my shower so I could kind of rinse and not have it all over my floor and rugs and stuff. But this seals in moisture really, really well and I would even use this on my face if I was really dry. Um, but it's just really easy to cover a lot of surface area, so I've been using it on my belly. Um, I do my um, Wella body oil, or my stretch mark oil, it's called like Mama Belly Oil or something. And then I let that dry a little bit, then I seal it all in with this stuff. So, super easy to just like 
get your legs. If they're dry, if you're going to wear a dress and want a little bit of moisture, um, this stuff is amazing. So, also pregnancy safe. Um, and that's it. That's my current skincare routine that I have adjusted to be safe for pregnancy. And I hope it's been helpful to you and I hope that you've enjoyed it. So let me know in the comments if I am missing out and there's any products that I need to be trying that you've tried that are holy grail for you. Um, or if you've tried any of these products and you love them, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, and then, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love each and every one of you that subscribes. It helps me out so much. And then if you want to check out more content, you can always visit my blog, which is www.strawberryblondemom.com. So um, I will see you guys there. And if not, I'll see you guys next time on my channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.